So, for order of operations, we use this rule. PEMDAS. Okay? P stands for parenthesis, E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, addition, and subtraction. Now, take note that how come I wrote it as M slash T and A slash S? Because this one, the warning, multiplication does not always come first before division. For the M does there, for the M does, multiplication and division are just tied, tied up. Addition and subtraction are just tied up, and it will depend who will come first. Okay? So, to break the tie, perform the operation that comes first as you read it from left to right. For instance, I have here 20 divided by 4 times 2. Remember that multiplication and division are tied, right? So, to break the tie, whichever comes first. So, division first before multiplication. So, that's why you have 20 divided by 4. This is 5 times 2, you get 10. Okay? Let's look at this one. What is the value of 8 plus 8 divided by 2 plus 2? What are the operations? You have addition and you have addition and division. So which one will come first? Division comes first. It's higher in our PEMDAS, right? So this becomes 4, 8. So that's that. 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2. You get 14. Calculate the value of this. Now you have parenthesis actually stands for grouping symbols. So whenever you have grouping symbols, always start from innermost going to outermost. So start here. So 6 minus 3 plus 2 is 5, right? I'm just going to copy. And then inside the parenthesis, right? 6 minus 5 is 1. This is 7. Whenever you have parenthesis like this, like that, for example, this means multiplication. So 7 times 1, you get 7. Okay, how about this one? We have division, multiplication, subtraction, division, multiplication. Remember, division and multiplication are higher in PEMDAS. Division and multiplication are tied up, and it so happens that division came first. So we start with this. We perform all the division and multiplication. So this is 6 times 2, and then I will just copy minus. There's a division here, so I will perform. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then 6 times 2 is 12, minus 4 times 2 is 8. So therefore, the answer is 4, letter B. Next, so you have parenthesis here. We perform the operations inside the parenthesis. This is negative 2 times 32 minus 11. That is 21. Oops. Plus 33 times negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, right? Actually, there is no need for the grouping symbol here, right? We can just erase that. Okay. Because our goal is to always remove the grouping symbols. Okay. This one means multiplication. So negative 2 times 21 is negative 42. Plus 33 times negative 5. The answer is negative 15. 165. We are adding here two numbers with the same sign. They are both negative. So what do you do? You add, right? So this is 7, 207. What is the sign? Copy the common sign, letter C. Exponential numbers. The expression a to the n means you multiply a to itself n times. So for example, 3 squared is actually 3 times 3. You multiply 3 with itself twice. 3 cubed means you multiply 3 with itself 3 times. 2 raised to 4, you multiply 2 with itself 4 times. And take note that when you're answering this, you can just make this, this is 2 times 2 is 4, 4. So automatically, the answer is 16. 
because 4 times 4 is 16. So that you do not have to do 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. For example, I made you answer, what is 2 raised to 8? I can break this down to 2 raised to 4, 2 raised to 4, right? Because 2 raised to 8 means 2, you raised to itself. You multiply with itself 8 times. So I will multiply it first 4 times and then another 4 times, correct? But this is, we already know that 2 to the 4 is 16. So it's just a matter of multiplying 16 and 16. So what is that? 256, okay? Okay, another order of operations problem, but this time it already involves exponents. So, let us recall we have PEMDAS. PEMDAS. So, we start with the parenthesis. So, 2 minus 10 times negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1. Then copy. Class, it's important that you write down um, organized solution so that when you have time and you can still review your answers, you just need to read your solutions. Because if you have an organized solution, when you still have time to review, what will you do? You will recompute again. No, you don't want that. Okay, next. What's the next thing that we have to do? We have negative 1. We're done with P, parenthesis. So we'll perform the exponents. What is negative 1 raised to 4? This means negative 1 multiplied to itself 4 times. But remember, recall that you have 4 negatives. What is the product there? The answer is positive, right? So 1 times 1 times 1, that is equal to 1, right? So this is just 1. For example, class, I gave you negative 1 raised to 99. The answer is either 1 or negative 1, correct? It's just a matter of looking at the exponents. This means that you have 99 negatives, and 99 is odd. So therefore, this is negative, okay? Let us continue with this one. Let me just copy. What are the operations that we have left? Subtraction, multiplication, and division. Which operation are we going to perform first? Multiplication, right? Because multiplication came here first before division. So we're done with P, E. We're now here. Multiplication or division. So 2 minus 10 times 1 is 10. And lastly, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 minus 5, the answer is negative 3. Next, perform the following operations. So here, again, we start with parenthesis. But inside your parenthesis, you have exponents. What is 8 squared? 64. That is 8 times 8. What about 3 raised to 4? That's 3 times 3, right? But here, 3 times 3 is 9. 9, so that is 81 plus 17. I'm just looking at the parenthesis, okay? 64 minus 81 is negative 17. And then you add 17, different signs. So you subtract 17 minus 17, you get 0. So that means this whole thing is 0. 0 divided by a number is 0 times a number is still 0. So that's why the answer is letter D. Music